All right, take three. I keep uh, having microphone issues, but I finally got it resolved. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, set up a, uh, I'm gonna show y'all an easy method for changing screen resolutions like this. So I'm just gonna show y'all that. I've already set it up actually. So if you don't know how to create a user widget, you go to, just go to user widget, widget blueprint. Then you open it. And over here, all I did was get this canvas panel. I set the anchor by holding down shift and pressing the center key. And then I zeroed these positions out. And, uh, and then I went to, and that's under panels by the way, panel, canvas panel. And then under input combo box, I just dropped a combo box on there. I went over here, and the only thing I changed right here was I added four resolutions, and I just typed in 800x600, 800, 800 by 600, and then all these other ones, and I set the selected option right here. That's all I changed after that. You can come over here down to the bottom, events, on, selected cha on selection change, and press the plus icon it'll create this and take you to it off of here you just drag off of here and you split it and what I did is I split it at the X and what that does is it does not include the X it only it breaks breaks it into two strings it'll break it into the first and the last it, without the X in the center so you'll have 800 by 600 for example and then after that I just got the game user settings and I drug off of there and I set I set the screen resolution and then I just connected that it'll automatically convert it for you I drug off of here again I set full screen mode right here to windowed just for demonstration purposes and of course I applied it so you have to apply resolution settings uh, otherwise it won't do nothing so after I did that I came over here in my level blueprint I went to create widget created the, the widget and I chose my widget right here or you can select it in the content browser and then press the back button right here and it'll do the same thing then off of here I drag out and I said add to viewport I right clicked I got the game or the player get player controller and then I set UI mode only uh, set input mode UI only and if you want to change back you can go to set game mode only yeah so top that backwards but set, uh, set input game mode only and then of course again I set show mouse cursor and I checked yes so to turn it off you would you would do this but with you but you would tell it not to show it and then you would set input mode game only instead of UI only and that's how you would reverse it and some people what they do is they just put this on the on a flip flop and then they assign it to a button and a flip flop in case you don't know flip flop right here and that's pretty much it so after you've done all that, you should be able to just change your resolution.